Cell level encryption, as you may have guessed, allows us to encrypt a column of data. Now, there are far superior methods of encryption in SQL Server, the big one being always encrypted, which we'll look at here in a future nugget. The main reason cell level encryption is supported in Azure SQL Database is for compatibility with your on-premise databases. It makes it much easier to migrate those to Azure SQL Database. So in this nugget, I'm going to walk you through a quick demo here on how to configure cell level encryption in Azure SQL DB. This feature works mostly the same as it does in your on-prem environments. One of the big differences here is when you're creating your database master key, you don't need to provide a password. And that's to help us with the management aspect of these keys in cloud-based environments. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this to create the database master key here for the NLDB database. Next up, we're going to create a certificate, which will be used to protect our symmetric key that we'll be using to encrypt and decrypt the data. So let's go ahead and create that certificate. And then we're going to create a symmetric key here as well, again, encrypted by that certificate. Now we can see these objects underneath our database, underneath the security node. Here it is. We should have our certificate there as well as our symmetric key ready to go. Next up, we're going to need a table here to work with. So we're going to create a really simple customer's table here with two columns, customer ID and credit card number, which is going to be the column that we'll encrypt. And then we'll add some data inside of that table as well. Now we're ready to encrypt that column of data. First thing we need to do here is open that symmetric key and decrypt it by that certificate. We'll do that. And now we can run a little update statement here to update that existing column and set it equal to the encrypted value of the column. So this is one of the pain points here with cell level encryption is you need to run the encrypt by key function whenever you're encrypting data. And then when you're pulling data out of these tables, you need to run the decrypt by key function. So it's a dependency that you'll need to wrap into your data access layer, which is one of the biggest reasons why always encrypted is a superior technology. We don't need to muddy up all of our code with encrypt and decrypt functions. All right, let's go ahead and run this statement here. That'll use that key to encrypt that column of data. And now if we run a select statement against that customer's table, credit card number is fully encrypted. So there you have it. Cell level encryption fully supported in Azure SQL Database. In the CBT Nugget, we saw the steps used to configure cell level encryption in an Azure SQL database, which is, again, very similar to doing it on-premise. And the whole reason this feature exists in Azure SQL database is for compatibility purposes with on-premise deployments. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.